here tomorrow. I hope to. I hope each and every single one of you is doing super duper duper bless. You watching right there. I hope you're doing super duper duper bless. So this video, I thought it should be nice and cozy. Nice cozy. Wear your lion bed. Wear your comfy clothes. If you were close to the bed. If not, you could be naked. That's fine. Get a drink out. Any kind of drink. It doesn't have to be what I'm drinking. It could be water. Anything. Let's just chat. You and I. It's going to be a little bit of... Uh, soft-spoken so nope that's okay with you and you know when i ask when i say i hope you're doing blessed i really do mean you're doing blessed whoever's watching you could be new you could be a long time subscriber you could be a new subscriber you could be semi-old subscriber you could be a commenter you could just be a simple viewer you could be one of my friends watching which i know uh, some of you watch, and it's very cringe. Don't tell me you watch my video. That's so corny. Not corny, but it's so, uh, I hate, I appreciate the support, but I, uh, just so bother, bothersome. Here I am getting vulnerable with the camera, and then you come up and be like, oh, that was such a good video. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> you know, my intent? was to never let my friends find my YouTube channel. But then I got, you know, I'm like, why should I hide it for everyone? If they want to enjoy it, they can enjoy it. If they don't want to, that's fine. I have nothing against that. But yeah, guys, when I tell you to give me video ideas, please give me video ideas. Like, I can't stand just doing the same kind of videos over and over and over again like you know there's um and i guess they have success for that reason right hold on let me just shout out the person who recommended this video bradford what's his actual youtube name l bradford i know he's been a subscriber for a while yeah i'm sorry bradford bro Sports of the cold. yo brad I did not find those pictures at all. I'm sorry. I want to do a part two to the editing your guys' video uh, pictures. So maybe for 2,000 subscribers, I'll do that. 2,000 seems pretty really reasonable. Reasonable, right? But yeah, thank you, Bradford. Please send me those pictures now if you're watching. And I will make sure it is in it. Maybe I'll do it for 1.5. My original goal was to hit 1.5 subscribers by the end of the year. And I'm being realistic here. It's good to be realistic with yourself and your goals. And if you're not on par or not on track to reaching your goals at the time you want it, that's okay. Me personally, I don't think I'll hit 1.5 before the year ends. And that is completely fine. Yeah, I'm just checking my live subscriber count right now. So I have 1,061, and I appreciate all 1,061 of you. Um, so yeah, there's no, like, pressure or anything. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheridan, I didn't respond to your comment 11 days ago. I will respond to you after. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll respond now. Share it and comment on one of my vlogs. I love your vlogs. Shooting some hoops, eating fine food. Ah, the life. Hope you're well. And Sheridan. Sheridan. Did I spell that wrong? Share. Yeah, I did. I hope you're doing well as well. Appreciate. I can spell appreciate right. 
Since we're having an iPhone, it's better because they just auto correct appreciate you very much. And then, Brad, I will comment to you. I'll reply to you right now. Doing, doing that as we speak. Brother, much love, guys. When I comment back, I actually do mean like what I say on my comments, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, give me video ideas because if I don't have video ideas and I end up like doing like the same thing over and over again, which brings people some success, which brings people success. Sorry, I just get like a brain fart, not brain fart, but like a mental block. Every time I go to record, I just can't come around to doing it. Unless it's like, right now it's one eighteen in the morning. Unless it's like very late, like now. Or I just procrastinate, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Which I like to record. I would say before a certain day recently, I would have I recorded a lot of videos. I, I was on a roll. And I want to get back to that. And I will get back to that. You guys ever have mental blocks? Is it mental blocks or is it like a... Someone told me it was like an ADHD thing. It's like a... Where you know you have to do something, but your body's just stuck and unable to do it. And that's how I feel sometimes, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm sure we all go through it with the school. Your hobby. This is my hobby, right? Uh, well, I, I feel like I forgot. To, I was gonna say. Oh yeah, when I ask you guys, I ho- want to say I hope you're doing blessed. I really do mean that you're, hope- you're doing blessed. I think I already said this. Yeah, I really do wish the best for each and every single one of you. I wish great health and success. And good wealth. Success in your everyday en- endeavors. I hope you get that job you wanted. I hope you get with that girl or guy or partner that you wanted to. And I hope you get back together. If you broke up, I hope you get back together if it was meant to be. I hope your family is doing well. I hope you're health is doing well i hope you're emotionally healthy mentally and physically i hope you're growing as a person and i hope you're i don't say that enough to my people in my own life i feel bad too because it's pretty hard to be vulnerable like that uh, someone asked told me asked me well, not ask me. They kind of asked and told me, "It's like, why are you so easily vulnerable?" Not, not. I'm paraphrasing, but like, why are you able to confess so much on camera, but in person, you're not the same. And it's easier. It's easier this way. I'm talking to a camera. I'm not talking to anyone physically right now. Of course, you guys hear it and you see it afterwards when I edit, which I. Barely edit some of that to make cuts because of my let's see my freezer's on. Let's see, let me hear the feedback. Wow, my freezer, my freezer isn't on, it is on, and it's echoing. Hold on, what's going on? Why, why? See, like, I should have raised the volume, turn on the feedback because I just hopefully when I play this back, there's no issue. Is there an issue right now? Please no. Guys, if there's an echo, I'm sorry. I'm not going to fix it. Hopefully you enjoy it. But I do want to... Is it loud? I hope it's not loud for you. It's not too loud. Which is good. Very good. Very, very good. I guess you, you can... Oh, there's an echo. Why is there an echo? I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. There's an echo. But 
but yeah how am I able to be so vulnerable to a camera but not to an actual person it's different you know to a camera you can say anything and everything and not feel some sort of judgment which I know people in my life maybe yours do realistically they're not, if they're there if they're really your friend It's like a mental block because if you've been damaged, like a lot of people have in their life, then you really don't. You really have. You really question people's intentions and everything. Like, yeah, you can say you don't judge me, but what's really what? It, if you're not judging me, then what are you thinking about me in your mind? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a little. It's a little wonky. Back to what I was saying. And so yeah, I do apologize if I've never said these things to you in person, but I truly do wish you the best for me. I'm not a emotional, vulnerable person in real life. I was for certain someone, but it was hard to get to that point. It was so hard to get to that point, but I got to it. So if I can do it, so can you. so corny and stuff it's gonna sound so corny make sure you guys when you're doing stuff like this though actually some people may disagree with me on this but I think it's best to respond to a situation being vulnerable when you have when you're emotions aren't clouding your judgment because when your emotions are clouding your mind and your judgment that's when you say things or do things where you might regret in the future or you wish you would have waited to say waited after letting things process for a while and not saying while well, you're on the emotional high which I've done a few times you're walking right and a car cuts you off but of course in the moment you can be mad at them but uh eight times eight times seven times out of ten three being that they're just terrible drivers and seven being like oh well they're just in their own world they're not being attention to the what's going on around them It's not, 
I don't know, you shouldn't be comparing and whatnot, but if you just think about what you have versus what others don't, and then even in the situation where those less fortunate people be like, oh, well, you can't complain, I have this, this, and that. I just turned 25 as I'm recording this. Four days ago. Some people don't even make it to 25. And that's very sad to say. But that's life, right? <clears throat> Can't let the negative corrupt you all the time because there's a lot of positives to life. There's a lot of positives to your life, to the relations you have with your friends, family relationship lover there's a lot more positives than negatives and you know there's people that just focus too much on the negative they let they let the negative consume them into putting up a wall and not being able to bring it down which uh, essentially ruins everything that you and the other person have worked on to build and you know are in the same boat as me, it's just like a midlife crisis, just like, you're not where you want to be in life. Maybe you graduated university two years ago, two, three, four years ago, and you're still not where you want to be in life, and you're stuck in this in-between phase, where you, you're hesitant to move on. say anything because it's cringe. But we went to this in Toronto. I was in Toronto for Thanksgiving, my birthday. And then uh, I just wanted to go downtown and he came. And I'm very appreciative that he came because <coughs> I feel bad for wasting people's time. Like I went down, downtown. We went downtown. I went downtown. I was going to go regardless. I had no plan or anything. And he wanted to tag along. He said he had a good time and I'm I need to do that more than he realized. But went to this Pokemon store, or not Pokemon store, but like this collector store called 
AC Games. I think it's called AC Games. It's on Spadina. It's near Kensington Market. If you go, if you, I don't know the exact address, but if you look on a Google Maps, you have Kensington Market right here. The Main Street of Kensington Market. I think it's Augusta Street, maybe. I could be wrong. And then you have Spadina. A few blocks over. And then you have Krispy Kreme on this street. And then you have Brooksville all the way up here. And then in between, there's a there's Krispy Kreme, and then there's the block of Krispy Kreme, and then this block between this new block and then Rexall is where the game store is. I don't know what it's called, but I picked up this milsery. Look how I wanted this milsery for a while too. Please show my milsery. Look at this sexy thing. That's a very nice card. I wanted that for a while. It's like a cute Pokemon. Let's read. It's my favorite Pokemon of mine. Too bad. Alcremie is like a weak evolution. Then we got an Aerogross with Art. These were all five bucks, guys. Can you believe that? Yeah, we get five bucks for a Pokemon card. For a piece of plastic. How can they do that? But they're all Japanese, right? Yeah. The Japanese cards are by higher quality. Look at this. If you guys know, I have the other one of this. Electro Iron Mag Mortar. So, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I got those. We got those. Mm -hmm. Chilled for the day. Gotta do like simple things that make you happy. Even got Krispy Kreme donuts. But not on the same street. We walked to the park, which is sad. Played Pokemon Go. We talked. I asked him a lot of questions. Make sure he's alright with the, what he's doing in his life. He asked me some questions. It was a good time. We walked around. We got home. We went to the train. Feel bad because he missed some of his movie, but yeah. And then he came, pulled up to my crib for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. We had it on. Uh, we had ours on Sunday, and then he because he wanted to go to the casino with me for my birthday, so we went to the casino. I'm not gonna see what happened in the casino. Because what happened in the casino stays in the casino. But yeah, it's a real one for that. And I don't get to tell him that. Properly, I tried to, but it's like, you know, we're guys, it's so awkward for us to be like that. I'm sure I have to, but yeah, all this to say is just doing the little things that make you happy, no matter how boring, no matter how dull your life is, no matter if you don't want to be in the position you are, or maybe you are. Just do the things that make you happy. Like, it's been cold for a long time, and I got to play ball outside again. But, you know, little things that make you happy. And if you're depressed, that's okay. If you're depressed, we're all depressed, aren't we? As simple as that. I'm depressed for my usual reason, but other, other reasons too. Maybe one day I'll reveal those reasons in a video. But uh, I haven't, I've come to accept what has happened. Although I don't want to accept what happened. And I don't want to give myself hopes. I hope so. It's hard not to, but, you know, things happen. And then if things re reconcile or work out in the future for anything, a career, where you want to live, what you want to do, anything, it'll happen. We all hope it's meant to be, right? I just hope you all are doing okay. As you can tell, I'm a mess. You're a mess. We're all a mess together. But together we can do a great things. Or separately, it's okay to be alone. It's okay to be on your own for a while. Um, people say, oh, it's not good to be hyper-independent or independent. A wall so you don't get lit down and whatnot. Well, and I agree. I agree to that. But there is some peace with just being independent. There's a lot of peace that comes with it. Of course, get your social interaction with other people. But uh, being independent isn't that bad. It's not the worst thing to possibly happen. So don't knock yourself down if you're in that. Uh, if you're an 
I also have my recording time, so I guess we'll end it off. End it off around here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me some video ideas. Please. Uh, anything, anything will do. Anything. Guys, see, can you guys? I can't see right now, but my eyes are closed. But you guys can tell one of my eyes are like slightly open. I'll share that quick story. I don't know which one it is right now, but I don't think I'll edit this far in the video because there's no there has been any loud noise or anything. But one of my eyes, you can tell, are open. But not open, but like you know, the bottom still. I think it might be this one. I can't tell, but I'll tell you the story quickly. When I was born. Maybe you guys noticed this by now, but one of my eyes are bigger than the other. This one's bigger than this one. This one's squinted. You know why it's squinted? Because when I was coming out of the womb, my mother's womb, and I just learned more about my 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 birth. Like I came out very underweight, which in Canada they're like, oh no, this is a big deal. But back home in Trinidad, Guyana, it's normal. You're just coming out underweight, so they had me in an incubator. For like a few, uh, for a week or two, which is crazy to think about. I was in a freaking incubator. Like my friends couldn't even take me home yet, oh, because these Canadians don't know what's really going on. But yeah, when I was coming out of the room, I couldn't come out, so they put this thing over my face, and it made you see this side. This side has muscle and stuff, but this this other side I can't. I can't wink. No, I can't raise my eyebrows that's why this one this one just stuck like this because it paralyzed my face a little bit and i've lived with that birth it's not is it a birth defect i call it a birth defect my whole entire life like i have nothing i can't move it or anything the reason why this eyebrow is shorter than this eyebrow or is it the other way around one of my eyebrows because when i was little i was stressed big my sleep, I was stressed, picked the imaginary pimples that I had, and I didn't have any, but in elementary school, my eyebrow was, like, completely cooked, like, half of it, like, this was all that was left, and then there was, like, barely anything here, so, it's like, going back since, but, right here, it's gone, it's not coming back, and I've tried to turn my roller and everything, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you thought. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah. That's it for today. Quick, easy outro for a quick and easy video. What'd you say? Should I be doing the videos like this? Or should I be holding it on the mic stand? Let me know. Let me know, okay? Bye-bye. Uh, if you're still watching, I hope you meet the right person in the season. And I'm okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. I'm okay. I hope you're, you are okay. And you're doing great. And yeah. I'm always here. If you guys need me. If, but if you, if you, you, if you need me, I'm always here. Let's talk. Please. Let's talk. Anybody. It could be anyone, but just one specific person. Okay. All right. Uh, but no, for real. Anyone. If you guys want to reach out, message me. My Instagram is under commission. Intermission right now. You can still message me on my Instagram or comment anything. That'd be cool. All right, all right. Bye, bye. This is this has gone too far. Actually, I'm gonna let my recording go out. Five, two, one, and and.